Hi, right, this is Tom Nunnemaker with Airmere Corporation. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Apex tracking spreadsheet. Now this is designed for Apex Trader funding accounts so you can track your valuation accounts and do some forecasting. And if you don't have an Apex account, you can click on this link right here that takes you right to their website. Uh, so in this case, I've got two different account numbers, 35 and 36. Those are the account sizes. You can use the drop down to pick whatever size you're trading. Now, this is actually one I've got right now. It uh, was it closed out yesterday at 51,071.82. Currently, it's here, so it's up $439 today. Here's my auto look. And if you have a trade of eight account, you uh, you don't need this auto look column because um, on trade of eight will tell you what your trailing drawdown is if you look at the reports in trade of eight. But uh, our trader for Rhythmic does not. Now, I, I do like Rhythmic better. The commissions are slightly better. It's a, a penny um, difference on the micros. I can't remember what it is on the, the minis. Um, but Rhythmic is more universal. So Rhythmic will work on uh, Trade of 8. Uh, I mean, it won't work on Trade of 8. It'll work on um, Ninja Trader, Quant Tower, Sierra Chart, lots of different places. But Trade of 8 will only work on Trade of 8. So if you're happy with Trade of 8, they have good reporting. Um, you can probably still use a spreadsheet, but this is designed for Rhythmic accounts because Rhythmic won't tell you what this distance is right here. It's, um, bring this back up. It'll just tell you what the auto level is versus the account value. So you have to do the math and subtract them. So that's what this is doing. This is telling you what the trailing drawdown is, what the dollar amount is. So this is $22 away from my $2,500 drawdown. And then that's 0.88% of the way there. So it's uh, it's basically at the top. I've made $1,500 profit in this. I have $1,488 to pass. I'm 50% of the way there. And if I have $439 every day, then it'll take 3.39 uh, days to pass this evaluation. Now, I have two accounts in here I'm showing. So this would be if you added a second account. This profit is summing up all the profits and losses in this column. So 789 for the day total. And this is two accounts and the average per account is 394. So if I average 394 every day, then that would be 789 per day, which is this. That's how much per week, per month, per year. And then if you scale this up to 20 accounts, it's basically 10x that, but it does all the math for you. Now at the apex, the first 25,000 per account that you withdraw is all yours, 100%. After that, it's 90%. So on 20 accounts, on a 50K, um, that's uh, half a million dollars you can withdraw. But after that, then apex is going to take their 10%. So say you get up to that uh, that point where you've taken out your 25,000 per account, then these would be the numbers you'd be looking at, 140,000 a month. <clears throat> and again, based on this number, this is how many days and months it will take to pass these accounts. So if I can do um, just even $10 a day, then that would be uh, 40 or 50,000 a year or later on after you've taken out 25,000, it would be 45,000 per year. And if this scales up pretty well. So if you do, if you can make $25 a day average net on all your accounts, you can 20 of them, there's your, uh, that's 100,000 a year plus. Um, it is going to take you a while to pass these if you're only doing $25 a day. So if you do 25 a day, it's going to take you almost three months to pass a, a 25K account and six months to pass a 50K account. So bottom line, you want to be a little bit more aggressive on the evaluations. And then once you pass, throttle back on the risk a bit. Because um, I would just pay for a lifetime license and then there's no time pressure. Um, you pay once and then you can take as long as you want. Just don't blow the account up. So while you're doing an evaluation, you probably want to try it maybe, you know, 100, 150 a day, and you can play with these numbers. And the reason it's red is you've typed in a number here. So if we hit reset, that puts it back to the equation. Uh, but again, you can just put in a number, and it just reminds you that this is something you've hard typed in. It's not a, it's not calculating anything, and it calculates how long it's going to take you to pass different size accounts, which is pretty handy. So it gives you an idea of um, what you need to do to accomplish your goals. Um, I also added this save file button that just saves the file um, on your hard drive. 
And that's basically it. Just, well, I guess the last thing, the save button saves the current configuration. I would use this like at the end of the day. So you save it, it kind of resets everything for tomorrow. Um, but you can uh, restore it anytime. So this is, just brings it back to whatever the state was. And this is prepares it for tomorrow. So that's what the save and restore buttons do. So I think that's it. Pretty simple. And uh, enjoy it. And uh, good luck with your trading. And again, if you want to open up an Apex account, uh, just click on this link. It'll take you right there. Thanks a lot. Bye.